Hey folks, Andy here with Mossy Creek. Today we're going to tie one of my favorite caddis patterns. I love this fly because it's really easy to tie. I can tie a bunch of them and fill my box up, but know that I've got an effective fly pattern and I have plenty of them. So it only takes a couple materials. Very simple, like I said. Let's get into it. Hope you guys like it. Thanks. All right, folks, here is the fly that I've already tied in the vise. Let's get into it here. So today I'm going to be tying this one using a size 14 hook. I'm using the TMC 206 black nickel size 14 and we've got a 764 tungsten bead in there. I'm also going to do that in black nickel. To get started we're going to take a little bit of 015 lead wire just put a few wraps of that here behind the bead. All you need is maybe five or six just to add a little bit of weight hold that bead in place I'm just gonna helicopter that wire off and push that in right behind the bead grab our thread here we're gonna use Danville's flat wax nylon we're using light olive I'm gonna start that thread on the shank right behind where I put that lead wire get a couple wraps make sure you have your thread on there securely and then trim off your excess Come up, go ahead and cover the shank of our hook in thread, and we're going to tie down the bend of our hook just a little bit here before bringing that thread back up to the bead. Next thing we're going to do is grab a little bit of vinyl rib, size midge, and I'm using olive, and we'll tie that in right up here behind the bead and wrap that all the way down just to the bend of the hook here. Bring our thread back up and I'm going to work here and just build a little bit of a taper on this fly trying to keep our body nice and smooth. It's going to help us when we go to wrap this vinyl rib here um, to keep everything nice and neat and having touching wraps as we come up the body here. This vinyl rib is a great material, um, gives a really nice segmented look to your flies and uh, you don't see it nearly as much as you might think on flies. Uh, it's so easy to work with and um, you know like I said gives a really great look to your flies. So once we get up there to the top we'll tie that off and we can come in here and trim our excess. I'll just do a couple extra wraps to make sure that's locked in. Now we're going to add some dubbing. I'm going to do that by splitting my thread here. This is going to help give a really buggy look to our fly. Um, come in here, get your thread split. We're going to be using Ice Dub UV Black at the head here. You don't need much. Just grab a little pinch, slide that in. And I'll get a little bit more here. Slide that in as well. Pull your finger out of your thread there and give your bobbin a counterclockwise spin. Help cord that dubbing up. Uh, we want to make sure that stuff is in there and held securely. So if you need to do a couple spins, that's all right. Now I'll come in here with my fingers and pick at this dubbing. You could also use a, a dubbing brush if you have one. Just pull out some of those longer fibers. Help make sure everything is in order. Then we'll just go in here, start to wrap that on. I'm going to use my fingers to kind of hold that material back as I wrap here. Right up to behind the bead. Now we'll come in here throw a whip finish in there pull that tight make sure everything is secure go ahead and cut that off now what I'll do is I'll come into this dubbing clean things up just a little bit if I've got some extra long fibers I can pull those out or you can come in with your scissors and clean that up a little bit once you're happy with it, you're done. So there we go. 
Thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you guys tie this fly up and get out and fish it. Thanks.